many applications like food delivery, laundry delivery, grocery delivery, etc. attract their customers with a single service. Whereas an app like Gojek is multi-services stage, which is a couple of fragments that require the consumers, merchants and the drivers. And did you know, 45% of the people use on-demand grocery delivery applications to buy groceries. Don't you think you are missing limitless opportunities by not developing a multi-service Gojek clone application for your business? Hence, in this video, you'll see the features and functions of a very smart admin platform for multiple use cases. This is a dashboard for multi-module. Like you can see, these are food, grocery, then taxi, shuttle, and you can add more modules in the single application. So this will be the admin dashboard for multi-module application. So on the top, we have the zone and then the geofence. Then we have the option to visit the website. Now on the dashboard, you have the option to view the details and the insights about the orders or the bookings. So you can toggle between different modules. You can see the food category, subcategory, how many they have been added and accordingly the heat map and every other data will be populated. So you can see the bifurcation between the online revenue versus the cash revenue. Then you have the number of users, drivers and the orders that have been received. In the user section, you can apply filters, how many customers have been onboarded in the last seven days, yesterday, today, or and so on. You can toggle between different views and you can import and export the users as well. Then we have the subscription model for the end users in which you can add a membership plan and which the end user will be buying your plan and in that you can provide them a particular amount of discount. So you can see the description of the plan will be there, maximum discount type that will be given to the end user and then the discount value and then the delivery charge discount if there would be any. So it depends upon the admin how much they want to set. Whether you want to add a plan monthly or annually you can toggle and if you want to provide exclusively free delivery for all the orders to the premium customers you can do that as well. Now we have the driver panel. In here, you will be able to see all the details of the drivers, driver listings, you can see their statuses, how many rides they have completed, how many number of orders they have, their particular wallet amount, and then again, you can action and view their documents as well. Now in the order section, you have more details. Now in the manage payments, according to the rule that the admin has set up for the pricing and earning while adding a driver, that will be visible here. Like vehicle type, vehicle number, commission type, whether it is a fixed salaried or a percentage wise commission that should be given to the driver. Now again if we come to our admin panel, we have first of all first module that is food in which you have the hierarchy for adding the products that will be the cuisine types, then the category, then the subcategories, then you can add the brands. If you are adding uh, Domino's or any other big brand on your platform, you can add them. Here you have the option to add all of the merchants and in here they will be referred as restaurants and they will be having their dedicated merchant panel as well. So a particular vehicle type will be added for a particular module in which the driver in the our driver panel, this vehicle type will be assigned to a particular driver for getting the order assigned. Likewise, we have for the grocery and then if you go to the taxi, we can see all the taxi bookings which have been there and here would be the filters. You can apply your date and time filter. You can add multiple vehicle types in here. And while adding a vehicle type, you will be able to see what will be the base fare, hourly fare and then the per minute fare, number of seats that will be there, late night fare, if there would be any relaxation time that will be and then uh, the late night and the late night here we are referring to as a surge in which the price will be increased then we have for the shuttle you can add multiple vendors manage route location so what would be the route location you can add multiple locations So the location will be added then you can manage the routes you can add a particular route and you can see the name of the route start point and then the end time and then the stop points whether how many points will be there for the stopping and what will be the fare 
and accordingly you can add the time of the drop off you can add more stops as well and multiple routes then again you can choose the vendor type which we have created earlier then you can see the bookings for all the shuttle and then the vehicle types if you have added while adding a vehicle type you will be able to see that we have again the same number of fields that were there while adding a taxi in which per hour fare would be there per minute and so on and then the overview for all of the routes and in here a general depiction will be there for all of the orders or the bookings that have been ongoing completed or cancelled so the completed ones will be highlighted green other than red which have been cancelled and the ongoing one will be highlighted as grey now you have the managed payments as you can see there is the merchant whose total commission was 60 is yet to be paid so you can click on view or you can click on pay and then the merchant will receive their money accordingly now we have the coupons if we apply the coupon in which there would be a uh, coupon code that will be there and the end customer can use this code then we have the deals the difference between the deals and the coupons is we show the deals as banner images in the customer facing applications and in this coupon code is not required this is a pre-applied discount all the fields will be here also like what will be the discount type whether it is flat or percentage and what will be, what will be the discount value again we have the sales reports which will give us the depiction about the online versus the cash revenue how much total revenue was closed percentage increase number of orders and products bifurcation between categories and then the subcategories how many have been added then the difference between the merchants and the drivers and then the monthly bifurcation now we have the broadcast notification in which you can send a push notification to all of your end customers all the merchants so you can write a notification title then the message will be there then you can search the user list or you can simply toggle on send to all users and likewise for the merchants as well now at the bottom you have the option to send the notification from here you can add a sub admin if you have another colleague in your organization who is managing alongside with you so you can enter their name email address phone number then their profile image and what roles they would be having so in terms of manage payment whether they have the option to view edit or delete likewise in the case of deals coupons and every other thing now we have the customer support in which you can add multiple reasons that you wanted to add and you will be able to see here now we have the cms pages in which you can enter your own company's terms and conditions privacy policy and so on so you can see here as the option for FAQs as well you can add a FAQ which will be shown in the applications and the website directly now we have the settings in here we have the project details app name currency email auto cancellation time phone number website URLs and the and these URLs will be used in your customer facing applications plus the website as well now Google API for the website if you have opted for one we have the edit profile change password and then the billing so from here you can change your plan if it's a trial version or a paid plan so you can see and then you can again, again add a card and make the payment now we have the theme if you want to change the look and feel of the platform you can do it by simply waving these colors and you, then you can click on update so the whole look and feel of the platform will be changed accordingly now we have the project images so all the images that you have added will be shown in the customer facing applications and the website directly so as you can see the customer we have uploaded the images for the website you can do for the module type images in the application it will show and then the customer introduction customer content if there would be any and you can add multiple screens if you want then we have the project documents if you want to get a valid DL for a merchant if they are onboarding 
you want front only photo front and back or both of them with expiry date so you can click on update and automatically these details will be added and again you can click on add more so accordingly you can add the list of the documents now we have integrated uh, the google seo as well so that you just need to enter the page links and so on so that you can do the marketing at your end now we have the customer setting the method of sign up which the end user will be using will be both so the otp and the verification will be sent via email only or phone number only or both so that can be done now we have the manage features in this we have integrated with the multiple payment gateways multiple sms gateways multiple third party gateways and all the extensions that we have provided so you can see we have provided scheduling user membership and then the recurring order zone panel localization customer wallet driver application and so on now i'll show you the demonstration and the syncing of the applications and the dashboard now I'll be demonstrating you our multi-module customer facing application and driver application. So as you can see in the home screen, on the top we have the option to add the addresses. On the top right we have the cart option. Then we have multiple module types that are food, grocery, taxi, shuttle and so on. And then you can add multiple modules in the single go. Now just at the bottom we have the deals that have been added by the admin. And here instantly you can book a cab. You can just enter the address and book a cab. And if you want an instant booking, that can be done. Plus, you want if you want to schedule a ride, you can do that as well. Now at the bottom we have the membership plan that the admin has added. So if you have purchased any of the plan, they would be visible at the bottom. Now if I click on any of the module, you will be able to see their particular details. Like for an example in food also. Likewise, we'll go with grocery, taxi and shuttle. So the whole flow will be changed as per the vertical type that the customer has selected. Now on the left hand side, we have the home section, profile section, the loyalty points as you can see here, addresses, saved addresses and then the contact us pages then logout and then support terms and condition and faq which the admin has added from their admin panel now i'll quickly place an order and show you the working functionality so as you can see here i have added multiple deals already i'll add the items to the card so you can see the total price was inr 120 after the discount and flat 210 was off so i'll click on view the card and then I'll click on proceed to checkout. I'll add the address. And then you can add the instructions, the promo code accordingly. Then I'll click on place the order. Now, now as you can see on the admin panel, I have instantly received the order. It has all the details, the merchant, de merchant name, booking details, and uh, then the customer details and so on. So I'll click on accept. I'll enter the preparation time, I'll click on the details, I'll assign the driver. So all the visible drivers will be there and in the driver application you'll be able to see that I have now accepted the booking. So I'll click on track the screen in the customer application. So in here you will be able to see the order number is 15 and your food is being prepared as of now. And then you can chat with the driver or call the driver directly. So all the details about uh, the charges will be visible in the customer application. You can enter the rating as well. And the lifetime ads will be running for the admin to see. Now in the customer application, I'll click on go to pickup. Then order pet. And in the meantime, if I want to chat with the customer, I'll just type in hi and in the chat section all the messages will be visible automatically as you can see there so now I'll go back and then I'll click on reach the destination now I'll mark the orders as complete
so in our application also the customer facing application also if I go to my orders you'll be able to see the ongoing and the past orders so you can see the last one it was instant and you can see and then again you can read the order your driver was Mark Smith the driver rating merchant rating then the food rating then you can click on submit this was the whole flow for our multi-module customer facing and driver facing applications thank you that was all about multi-module admin panel and as you can see it was extremely simple to use so if you plan to launch your own multi-module platform i recommend that you click on the link in the description and assist us in getting this panel ready for your business you can also email us at sales at the rate appnix.com or dm us on our social media accounts don't forget to like comment subscribe and press the bell icon to stay up to date on the new videos thank you